just got a new delivery. See, it even has my name on it. I think some of you might like what's in this box. So let's go outside, do an unboxing, see what's in here. Welcome back to the channel guys. It's a beautiful spring day and I couldn't help myself. I gotta go and do this outside. Anyways, before we begin, please do me a big solid and hit the like button and hit subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. So let's open up, see what we have here. Now, lest you guys think that all I ever do on this channel is product reviews. Well, that's not true. I do lots of other things. It's just that people reach out to me and they want me to take a look at their products. And I like to review products that I believe in. This particular product is actually a sponsor, so full disclosure, they sent me this item for free for me to review. They didn't tell me what to say or anything like that, so this is the first time I'm actually looking at this. Matter of fact, well, let me tell you here, it's Connect Coolers. I, I haven't seen one of these in person, so this is my first time, but when I was actually shown this, just renders, by the way, I've never seen the physical product, I was, uh, I was super impressed. And lo and behold, I got one of the first production units. So let's pull it out of the box. And yes, it is a cooler. It's red. <laughs> and this is one of the things that really turned me on when the developer of this cooler reached out to me. There's a lot of really neat things about this thing. And uh, anyways, let me show you what I'm talking about. Cooler is, is solid. It's uh, roto molded. So those of you who know what that is, it's uh, liquefied plastic um, and it's put into a mold and it's, you know, rotated in a whole bunch of different degrees. So it makes a very solid product. This is not a soft case cooler. This is a premium cooler. You're gonna love this. So I'm gonna lift this up so you guys see it. And this is one of the nice touches, is that it has these recessed, peel off the plastic here, Model 3 inspired handles, and they just pop out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? See what I did there? Cool. I know, bad joke. Anyway, so they're, they're spring-loaded, and they click in, and then you can just pick up the cooler, just like that. Isn't that slick? So once again, I'll just show you the handles. You just pop them like that and they pop out and these are flush. So let's open up the cooler. Oh, it has a really tight seal on it. Oh, I like that. This is the bottom side of the uh, cover and it has this uh, thick gasket around there that positively seals it. As a matter of fact, if I put that back in there, I can literally lift up the cooler and it doesn't come out. So let me just pop that off. Now the other thing that's interesting is that this little piece right here is actually a bottle opener. Let's unwrap this so you guys can see this. All right, connect coolers. You see that? Stainless steel sits inside there with a magnet. It's held in place. Lovely little touch. There's some instructions here. So some uh, care instructions for a cooler with a barcode on there. Hey, and uh, you got some, looks like some stickers or something in here. Coasters, my car drives itself. I like that. I don't know how many cans of soft drinks or pop or anything like that will fit in there. Maybe I can grab a few and just toss it in and see what it does. So we'll throw some cans of soft drinks in here and see how many we hold. Matter of fact, I don't think I have enough soft drinks to fill this thing. Maybe we'll do some mental math here and see what we have. So we have uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 in there. And then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, probably about a case of 24 would fit in there quite nicely. I think that's the whole purpose of this uh, design. The developer tells me that this is two inches thick and it's filled with uh, the expanding foam polyethylene. I forget what it's called. Anyway, so it has uh, very good insulation qualities. Let's see if I just put the cooler on top, press it into place, positive seal. Oh yeah, that's good. And there's, uh, there's clearance with the cans, so there's no interference with the cans. And of course you guys, you guys wanna see this in the car, right? Oh, let's throw this in the car. Just slide the uh, cover back. Here's the cooler. I love these handles. Just slides it right in like that. And then you just pop the handles in. And then you slide it closed. Perfect fit. Matter of fact, it even tells me that if you take the cover off like this, it's designed so you can actually s slide it sideways like that. And then that way as you're not losing the cover and it gives you perfect access for this. Oh, this is such a great design. Let's pull it out. So we'll just pop the two handles, lift it out. Oh, these handles make it so easy to pull in and out. What a great design. Oh, 
Sold. I love it. It's great. Well, so far I'm very impressed with this cooler, but I thought it would take just a couple of minutes here and just talk about coolers in general. Now, for us, maybe not for you, but for us, we always, always travel with a cooler. It doesn't matter whether we're going for just a day away or for a long weekend or even a week on vacation, whatever the case may be, we always have a cooler with us. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a hard shell cooler, it fits in the bottom trunk, or a soft shell cooler that you can get from Costco that fits in the front trunk, but we always have them with us because you just never know when you might need one. Now this cooler design, I really like. The handles are magnificent. I can't say enough good things about the handles. Uh, the thermal qualities, we'll have to see, but so far uh, it looks really good. With the expanding foam on the inside and two inches worth of insulation, I have no doubts that this thing will be able to keep your drinks cool for at least 24 to 48 hours. The other thing that you guys are gonna say is that this is a premium cooler, no doubt. There are other premium coolers on the market like Yetis and stuff, but this is, uh, this is purpose design for the Model 3 and the Model Y. Speaking of which, I know you guys are gonna ask, does it fit the Model Y front trunk? And the answer is yes. However, it's on a little bit of an angle. So if you put anything that has the possibility of leakage and stuff, make sure that you prop it up or whatever the case may be. But yes, I'm told it does fit in the Model Y front trunk. Not a problem here for the back because they're literally identical. So if you're looking at a Model Y and you want a uh, cooler like this, yeah, no problem. So no doubt there are some coolers on the market that are certainly cheaper. There's certainly a trend these days towards premium products, but nothing like this. This is a purpose designed cooler that fits your Model 3 and the Model Y. So if you're looking for something like that, I think this is the one to take a look at. If you're interested, I'll put a link down in the video description where you can buy one along with a discount coupon code. Everybody likes discounts, right? They're also a forum sponsor. So if you're interested in giving them some direct feedback, go onto the forum, look for Connect Coolers and chime in on what you think about the cooler and what kind of feedback you can give them. I'm told that they might even do some colors <laughs> in the future. We'll see what transpires. But so far, I'm very impressed with the cooler. I encourage you to go and check them out and support them. By the way, these coolers, they're not made offshore. They're made in the US. So something to be said for that. Anyways, I'm going to throw some uh, some drinks in my cooler and go for a drive. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.